have to ask you, you know, one of the yeah. last times I think we saw each other in person was at this conference in Las Vegas, the health conference. I asked you if you'd ever, if you were considering an IPO. And at the time, granted, this was more than two years ago, you said it sounded miserable to be a public <laughs> company CEO. You said there's a time and a place when you're steady and growing. So are you at that time and place? I mean, why go public now? Why through a SPAC? Just tell us. It's, it's a great question, and I, I, it's, you're not the first to ask. So I think I've been really convincing about the fact that we were going to stay private for a long time. Um, and we did. We did stay private for a long time. And frankly, we were private while we built really this infrastructure that I felt like is so important for us to execute on all the things we want to do. Like really be able to take on on therapeutics, really be able to take off on the consumer vision. So what happened now is there's the maturity within the company. There's an establishment with our customers about how we operate. There's an establishment with our investors about what the mission of the company is and how we always put our customers first. And so now we're really at a point in time where I'm I'm ready to you know explode. Like there's huge opportunities on therapeutics and huge opportunities for our consumer business. And let's uh, you know go back to Joe's question. I mean, this privacy question has been one that you have always uh, had really as the forefront of your considerations in business. I mean, how, how are you looking at that and, and questions that consumers might have about their privacy on health or you know what they might discover? You know, for me, privacy has always been about choice and transparency. So the, the most critical component of 23andMe is that we give our customers the ability to have a choice to get their genetic information and a choice to learn about additional relatives and a choice to learn about additional health information. And then we're transparent about, do you want to opt into research? We have a phenomenal collaboration with GSK, really trying to move this, this information forward to make therapeutics that are going to be personalized that will really cure disease. So the tenants for me on privacy have always been about choice and transparency. Mm. And, you know, we're just about out of time, but I have to ask, you know, are we going to see new things from 23andMe? What, what's next for growth for you? Oh, I think we're, we're really just about to take off. I think that's what is just is, is so exciting here is the, 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 you know, the therapeutics team came to me, um, you know, last year and just said, we are exceeding expectations. It's just taking off. So there's a huge opportunity there. And then on the consumer side, we're at this sudden point because of COVID where there's a, a whole world that's coming of virtual care. And how is it that we can help our customers really think about prevention? Like think about COVID has taught us the, the importance of prevention and what the human genome gives you is this information about what your risks are. And now what we're gonna be able to do is give you more and more of those tools. How do you help keep, the, our, keep our customers healthier? We found over 75% of our customers were already taking actions, trying to be healthier. And so the next era for us is about using your genetic information to benefit from the human genome and actually have a healthier, longer life. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.